Good morning, Yanko. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. I have put on some coffee for you. What is a sports car? If we jump into Google and try to figure it out, it says a low build car designed for performance at high speed, often having a roof that can be folded back. Then take a look at the numbers of these two cars to define the performance. The 992 does it to 103.5 seconds and the Panamera on 3.8, actually the same as the turbo, and a PDK equipped 991.2 GT3 3.2 seconds. Looking at the lap times of the Nordschleife, 725 for the 992 and 738. I must say that that lap time is from the turbo. And looking at the GT3, 713. I mean, in terms of performance, these numbers are extremely small between the cars. I think we can agree on that the Panamera GTS has some serious performance. Is it a low-built car? Well, compared to the 911, this one is not as low. But looking at it and park these two cars beside each other, there is no doubt that it has the sports car DNA. Finally, I think it was all about having a roof that could be folded back on a proper sports car. I understand, especially in the modern time that we live today, the difficulty is to define the word sports car, especially with the technology that are at our disposal. And perhaps that's why Porsche has decided to call this Panamera Gran Turismo Sport because this is a proper sports car experience. <laughs> Breaking, and then left corner, full throttle, a bit of a crest, downshift into right corner, in, threw in the gears, oh! Love it, love it, love it. This is a Panamera GTS, and the brakes, yes. And into the left corner, again, 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 grip, 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 grip. I mean, what is this? And then heavy braking, heavy braking. Yeah, the winter tires isn't 100% when it comes to the braking, but otherwise, Ooh, a crest, and then full throttle, downshift once more, heavy brake, <laughs> and then into right corner, right corner, yes, here we go, yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, ooh, <sighs> into comfortable, so easy to shift between a 911 and a Rolls-Royce in a Panamera GTS. Spectacular. <laughs> Let's talk brakes just for a second. 390 millimeters brake ticks in front, 365 in the back, six piston calipers in front and four piston in the back. When I was driving, driving a bit more active on the B roads, I'm not sure if I need, you know, better cooling or bra bigger brakes or perhaps the ceramic brakes on the Panamera. Remember, regardless, we still have 2000 kilos or two tons to handle in our art of driving. Let's enter in comfort mode. So normal chassis. Yeah, let's go back. We have a medium ride. Ooh, perfect. Ah. 
You know, this is the privilege of having a Gran Turismo. It is um, divided into two characters. One that enjoys the relaxed drive towards your destination, even though the journey itself is the true enjoyment and entertainment, so to speak. Ah. Let's take it in comparison from a comfort perspective with the Can Turbo. This is a bit more stiffer or hard in its setup than uh, the Can Turbo. And um, with the turbos, massage, seats, etc., mm, it's a bit more comfortable. But um, then again, It is not as sporty the Turbo Cayenne as the GTS is. It just grips, 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 grips. And then let's have a break. Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's like, ooh, it's like, your heart like, woo, dips into the endangered animal, or should I say the endangered engine, the V8. This with a 90 degrees banked angles with turbos in the middle. It produces in a Panamera 460 horsepower and a 620 newton meter of torque um, in 6300 RPM. And if I compare it directly with the Panamera Turbo, uh, this engine produces 90 horsepower, less than 150 newton meter of torque. Do I feel the difference between the two engines? No, I don't. This is a true joy to drive this V8 engine, regardless in which Porsche they are mounted. When you drive a GTS, this is ridiculous, but what you actually are waiting for is a a car in front of you, so you kind of, ah, I have to pass a car. <laughs> yeah, it's so childish of me, but it's like, oh, you don't need any gaps. It's like, done. <laughs> Ridiculous. Look at the color. It's made from carmine acid, manufactured by Lice. The lice, or should I say the powdered scale insect body, are boiled in an ammonia solution. Then remember that if you option out your Panamera with the beautiful color Carman Red, a lot of lices will, will sacrifice their life for your beauty. And if you are an, you know, I know, friend of the lices, then Mm, think twice before you option out your Panamera with Carmine Red. But as a family father to small children, I encourage everybody to option out your Panamera with Carmine Red. I have done um, a lot of reviews and uh, I've never been so tempted as I am right now to drive on the highway. The Gran Turismo Sport is a vehicle for any occasions, much more than the others, I would say, because this is a much more sportier setup and the three-chamber air suspension works the opposite when it comes to the comfort. As always, you could always do more of keeping the road noise from the cabin, but I think it is a perfect balance between the sport car and the limousine. The Ikean Turbo is obviously much more comfy, but on the racetrack, I will take this one. When I am behind the steering wheel in a Panamera, the resemblance of the 992 are extremely present. The design language are pretty much the same. Not much difference. The 911 towards the Panamera these days, and mm, not happy with that. The huge 10 inch screen fits this type of vehicle like a hand in a glove. But on a 911, nah, not sure. 
there are small details in the design language in the interior that I appreciate. That's not the, you know, over-engineered fan in the middle. It is these, how the screen is integrated. It is not entirely pushed in to the instrument cluster. It is just slightly attached to it. Beautiful done. Adaptive uh, cruise control or inner drive or yeah, I'm not sure all the nicey fancy words on, on the <sighs> autonomous uh, driving things that, that we have. But um, passing a bus at this point is just to change lane and the car automatically will accelerate to the speed limit 110 kilometers that I have um, set the computer to accelerate to. Comfortable, yes. Something that I appreciate as a part of the art of driving, not at all. But um, most of the time in a vehicle, you need to transport yourself and perhaps your beloved family and friends. And from that perspective, it is extremely comfortable and safe, I would say, to have these inner drive, autonomous cruise control functionality that more or less or car manufacturers offers today. Don't run away, option out your car with different rims. These standard 20 inch wheels gives, I think they look extremely good, it balance up the design and I don't feel they are too small. I actually think that perhaps the 21 inch wheel might be too large. We have already defined the performance of this vehicle extremely close to the 911 range and have the same performance on Nordschleife basically like the 997.2 GT3. But this is a spectacular scenery in the back seat of the Panamera. You are basically, it feels almost like a bucket seat. No, not a bucket seat, but it's a proper sports seat in the back seat. That enables the driver to share the art of driving. Not only do we have a proper seating position, we also have extreme comfort and beauty. That's where the Sport Turismo lacks. I mean, for me, Sport Turismo is not the top of the range Porsche at all. It just deletes the beautiful sport seat in behind. This is a sports car. I mean, if you're up for a, you know, a proper family car that's boring to drive, you go with another car, you buy a station wagon from any other brand. This is a proper sports car. The Panamera should be a saloon. 1963. That was the year when the GTS was introduced by the 904 Carrera G. TS. For me, one of the most beautiful Porsche they have ever manufactured. You see the resemblance between the 911 and the GTS both goes back to the beginning of the 60s. And perhaps that's why the GTS badge attracts me more than perhaps the Turbo. Regardless which car you choose, both of these cars are spectacular sport cars in its own unique way.